Hey gang, welcome to Eat So Facto. The show whose, whose tidbits will make you the least liked guest at your next dinner party. But who cares, because the tidbits are tasty. These are some tasty tidbits. Stop pointing down. Just point out for this thing. <laughs> I'm John, and today on Eat So Facto, the sandwich so celebrated, so delicious, so famous that the government made it the state bird of Omaha. That's coming up on Eat So Facto. Oh yeah, you heard me. The Reuben, the state bird of Omaha. Omaha. I might be getting lost somewhere on my uh, Wikipedia rabbit hole, but, but it might as well be the state bird of Omaha, because you know what is? The meadowlark. And I gotta say, given the choice between a, a, a meadowlark showing up at my bird feeder and a Reuben sandwich showing up at my bird feeder, I'm gonna go with the Reuben every time, because Reubens are delicious and meadowlarks are a Here's why I like the Reuben. It's like the poster child of the deli sandwich. It's got five totally weird ingredients. Corned beef, rye bread, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and Thousand Island dressing. What the heck is Thousand Island dressing, anyway, y'all? We'll save that for a future episode. So much content! But you take all of these ingredients and you pile it up to excess, and, and, and it's the perfect deli sandwich. You take one bite, and it's like you're on a time machine back to the golden age of the deli. But where did it come from? Well, I, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Because like all food origin stories, this one's disputed. Was it born in Omaha, Nebraska in 1928 during a poker game? Or was it born in New York a decade prior? Now, Omaha's got all of the written evidence, the notes. It's got witness corroboration, corroboration, witness corroboration, corroboration. But New York has the actual deli named Reuben, and you know, just sort of the whole New Yorkiness of the whole thing. But my New York bias aside, I'm gonna go with the Omaha story, and here's why. In the New York version, the original recipe called for ham and turkey, which is, you know, not really a, a Reuben. It's a ham and turkey sandwich. Here's the Omaha story. I hope you're ready for a pot boiler. Omaha, Nebraska, 1928. Interior, Blackstone Hotel, midnight. Five men sit around a table playing poker. The sound of cards shuffling. One of the men, Charles Schimmel, the hotel's owner, deals the cards. Another man, Reuben Kulikovsky, looks at his hand. He's displeased. Say, what's the matter, Rube? You holding the seven deuce? The other men chuckle. <laughs> nah, it's late. I'm Joe, fellas. I need some grub. Why didn't you say so, Rube? Why are you standing around like a rail bird? Go and fix us up something, you yuts. Sure thing, Pop. What'd you have in mind, Mr. Kulikovsky? Oh, uh, gee, I don't know, Bernie. Uh, corned beef, uh, sauerkraut, nothing fancy. Careful what you ask for, Rube. He's been in Switzerland training to be a chef. You might end up eating frog's legs tonight. The other men chuckle. <laughs> Interior, kitchen, midnight, montage. Bernard makes the sandwich. He places two pieces of dark rye, piles several slices of corned beef on the bottom slice, slathers Thousand Island dressing on the top slice, adds a few slices of Swiss cheese, how many times can I say slice, and some sauerkraut. He closes the sandwich, butter sizzles in the pan. He adds the sandwich to the sizzling butter. He cuts the sandwich in half, plates it, and finishes it with a pickle and chips. This is the first Reuben. Interior hotel room, later. Bernard enters the room where the men are still playing poker. He places the sandwich in front of Reuben, who eyes it suspiciously. He grabs one half of the sandwich and takes a bite. The others look on in anticipation. Reuben looks up at Bernard, who is nervous. Sorry, Mr. Kulikovsky, the kitchen was all out of frog's legs. The other men laugh <laughs> as Reuben enjoys his sandwich fade to black. And that's it. That's, that's how it happened. 
verbatim, more or less, mostly less. But the point is the sandwich was an instant hit. And in 1956, a waitress entered the sandwich in a national sandwich competition and it won. And from that point forward, it, you know, it was, it was Reuben mania sweeping the nation. And that, boys and girls, is how the Reuben sandwich became the state bird of Omaha. Why don't you tell everybody who you are? Uh, my name is Henry Tufts, mm -hmm. and I'm going to eat... Do you need a line cue? A Reuben. A Reuben. You ready for a bite of a Reuben? Okay, one, two, three. Do you like it? Is it good? Well, I mean, there's, there's your answer right there. If you get two bites out of an eight-year-old, you've won. Of course, click like and subscribe, but also, what is a food origin story you want to know about? Ask me in the comments below. Let's investigate this together on Eat So Facto.